So we're gonna be setting up updating of listings and this is gonna happen whenever we click on a listing. And then on this page, this is kind of our single view for a listing. I'm gonna add a link so we can click on it and go edit. And this is gonna kind of work similar to our chat where instead of slash chat, we're gonna to go to slash edit. And we know which listing we're gonna edit because the URL has the ID in it. And we're gonna get that ID based on the value pretty much just that we have here in the URL. Um, so that's how that's gonna work. I have the view listing connector up here on our website, so I'm in the web package and listing module view. And I'm just going to create a new link here, which I'm gonna say slash listing. We're gonna keep the ID here, and it's gonna be slash edit. And so I'm just gonna name this edit. So now I need to actually create the component and create the route that's going to handle um, this. So I'm gonna create a new folder in here called edit and I'm going to call this edit listing connector and then for now I'm just going to say hello and let's go over to our routes and add that so we're going to copy what chat is and this is now going to be edit and I'm going to say edit listing connector so now, okay, those run into each other. Let's go ahead and add just a div. So if you add a div, it'll drop it to a new line and we can copy, paste that. So now they're on different lines. If I click edit, we now go to this page. So now the first thing I wanna do on this page is to actually fetch the details of the listing. Now we're already doing it on this page, on the view listing page using this um, component called view listing. So we can actually use the exact same thing uh, on the page over there. So let's do that and we can actually just copy this and paste it over here because it's gonna be very similar. So edit listing connector. We're gonna be taking a route component like we did over there, the listing ID. We're gonna use view listing to get the data. I'm fine showing a loading and then here, we're gonna render different stuff. For now, we can just render the listing ID to make sure it's working. Um, we're not using link. Remove that, oops. All right, so we see the random apartment. So now instead of just saying random apartment here, what I wanna do is I wanna, first off, render the entire form. And also another problem could be, I'm not sure if we're fetching all the data for this. Uh, but we'll worry about that in a second. So here I'd like to render the form and it's gonna be the same form that we used for the create listing over here. Um, so what I wanna do is I want to abstract or refactor how we did that. So I'm gonna create a shared folder in the listing and here I'm gonna call this listing form .tsx. So listing form. And now what I wanna do is I wanna move the logic that we have here for this formic form over there. And I'm actually gonna copy this entire thing and kind of rip it apart. Because I think that'll be the easiest to actually do. All right, so this is going to be listing form. And we don't need this at the bottom because we're not actually gonna submit on this form. So I just removed the, the submit part. We're not gonna need the submit part here. The things we care about is we're gonna keep the state of the page that we're on in the next page, and we want to do um, this thing as well. So to know what to do when we submit, because we wanna do, and the reason why we're not doing the submit in this form is because we wanna do a different thing on the create page versus the update page. And I'm just gonna move the UI over to share it as well. I'm not sure if this breaks any of these pages. Nope, doesn't. And it breaks this over here. We'll fix that in a second. All right, so let's get rid of these because we're not using them. So what we're gonna do, and let's get rid of this comment for now. Um, rest of that looks fine. I'm gonna add a new interface, which is gonna be the props that we're gonna take. Um, let's call it props. And the only thing we care about is um, the submit. So we're gonna take a, a prop called submit. 
um, that we're just going to pass all the form values to. So I'm going to call it submit. This is going to be a function that takes the form values and returns void. And then here, I'm going to say, and we're not using the with create listing, so I'm going to say and props here. And we can remove that from up there. All right, so we have next page. That's good. Um, and now this is coming from the props. Submit. Uh, there we go. So that's going to be calling that. And then everything else, I think, can stay the same on this page. So we're just rendering the exact same form. The only difference now is uh, the submit is going to be different per page. So over here in the create, I can get rid of all this stuff. Uh, we don't need any of this. We're still going to call it C. We don't need that. We need this submit function still. And we don't need any state. We don't need the image file. Um, I guess it would be helpful to have the, the values here to get the actual type definition for it. So maybe in our listing form over here, we export those. So first, I'm going to refactor it. So if you hit F2 in Visual Studio Code, it'll let you refactor this. Um, or you can just do find and replace. So we could say form values and replace that with uh, listing form values. And the reason why I'm changing that is just so it has a unique name. So when I export this, um, we know exactly where this is coming from. So now I'm going to use that here. So listing form values. And use the same thing here, values. All right, so this submit function is good. And now we can actually delete everything to um, the bottom. We don't need any of that formic stuff. We're just gonna we're just gonna render that listing form we just created, and then submit is gonna be this dot submit. Um, and I'm guessing it's because we made this async maybe. Uh, let's see what it doesn't like. So yeah, so we're returning a promise of void. So one way we could get rid of that is by saying promise void here. Um, and I think it should be happy. No, it doesn't even like that. Let's see what it doesn't like now. It's not assignable to the type. Oh, I think um, I, I didn't specify this here. So it has a second parameter, which is going to be formic. This is going to be actions. So formic actions, which is going to be the listing form values. OK, so now we're accounting for both of those. And it's happy. Um, oh, so now in our listing form, we also were expecting some route component props. We don't actually need those anymore, so let's remove that. And let's see if the type definition is happy now. Okay, cool. We finally got the type definition happy. Let's remove all of these. Um, and this looks good. So we're just rendering that form. Here's what our form looks like over here. Um, we should probably verify that still works, um, but let's do the edit one real quick as well. So now the edit, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to just render the listing form, and let's add a submit, this.submit. And so, oops, submit, and I'm going to make that async. And for now, I'm just going to console.log the values that are being submitted. So now both of those forms should be identical. Now, the problem with this page also is we don't have the initial values right now. So that's another prop that we want to be able to pass into this. So you'll see we have this. So I'm going to do const um, and get this from the props. So we're already getting one thing from the props, submit. So we can destructure that. And the other thing is going to be the initial values, initial values. So I'm going to set a default value for it. Oops. So I want to just grab all these things here. And then I'm just going to pass initial value in. 
some initial values. So we're grabbing this value from the props. We're setting a default value in case they don't pass initial value in. Now it's angry because I don't have a prop for it yet in my interface. So let's add that initial values and that should be form values. And I'm going to add it to make it optional. Okay, so now over here in the edit, I'm going to pass some initial values, which is going to be my data. Now, I'm not sure, it looks like the data doesn't have all the, the values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export them. So I'm going to say export const default listing form values. And I'm going to just have the values that I put right here. Paste them here. And so these are the default values. So I'm going to set that here still. So we didn't change anything in the listing here. The only difference is now, or in this form, the only difference now is we're exporting what the default values are. The reason why I'm doing that is I can now use them over here. So what I want to use them for is I want to keep all the default values. So I'm going to say uh, dot 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 initial or what did I call it default listing form values and then I'm going to overwrite any of the values that we have in data dot listing. Um, it's still not happy. Why is it not happy? Okay, so we have some things on this that we don't actually want to uh, spread there. So for example, the ID. So I'm going to say data.listing. So one of the values on the listing is an ID, and we can't have an ID passed to initial values. So in this case, what I like to do is just pluck it off. So to pluck it off, I'm going to destructure it, and then I'm going to keep all the other values. So then instead of data.listing, I'm going to spread listing. And there could be other things that it doesn't like. Um, let's see, picture URL. So it's another one, picture URL. And I'm going to do two underscores. And that's kind of the standard. If you don't want to use a value, you just underscore it. Um, anything else? Owner. All right, let's take owner off. Three underscores. And now it's happy, all the other values I can pass in. So now when we render the form right here, um, we can see it has some default values, zero for all that. I think I didn't have anything interesting for that. Um, let's go back to the listing page and now edit a different one. Um, oh, it's listings. So that was the apartment, let's go to a cool house. Let's edit that, we see a cool house here. I'm not sure if I set any values. For some reason, I thought I had like two or something for the, let me go to the 4,000. For some reason, I thought I set, yeah, the beds to be one or something. So let's fetch this. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you why. We're not fetching that data. So that was something I was mentioning earlier. So we're using this view listing here. We can actually just click to it from that. So view listing, we can see what items it's selecting. So we're only fetching the name, the category, the picture URL. So we're missing a whole bunch of fields that we're gonna wanna update. So in this case, A, it might be worth just fetching more fields here, because ideally we'd be displaying more over here as well. So I think we'll save this for the next video. So what we're going to do in the next video is expand how many items we're fetching. So we're, you know, having the entire thing. Uh, and then also we're going to submit our form and make sure all of that works.